Oh my god it is so much fun to work with Stardust inside After Effects, and having so much features like 3D Dynamics. Stardust is constantly getting updates, now they have released the new version of Stardust which has volumes. It is good to have volumes inside After Effects. Now we have endless opportunities to do effects in Stardust. And all in node based, within a single layer. Okay. Today we are going to create a beautiful low poly look planet in After Effects. As usual create a new layer add stardust effects, add model node in model type to primitives, and select sphere. Add to light ambient light and parallel light, ambient light is like the entire scene, and parallel light to create shadow reflection, add textures to our sphere, I created a spiral pattern texture for the planet. Add Venetian blinds effects and increase transition, and add turbulent displace effects. Increase amount and devolution. Add motion tiles effects. Move in the X axis, and check mirror edges, so we don't see any edge mismatch when we apply texture to the sphere. Import texture comp into our main comp. Assign texture in materials node. Create a background of blue color, now we are going to create a ring like Saturn planet. Add a model node and select type as ring, scale and adjust the size. For the ring we are assigning a transparent shader. In the materials type select transparent, in the transparent material decrease opacity, and increase metal amount. Rename all the nodes so it be easier later. Create outer ring where the other planets are going to revolve. Add a material node and assign new materials. Add a new point light and make our planet reflective. Duplicate the first planet and move to fit in the ring. We need that planet to be in green so I can new texture and change the red color to green. Scale size and adjust positions. Place keyframes in Y axis so our planet will be rotating in Y axis in the ring path. Add new keyframes in Saturn ring also and make it rotate around the first planet. Please keyframe in first planet angle Y. Now we are going to create the shadows for the planet. Create a new cylinder move it in negative Y axis. In Stardust main rendering settings check shadows. This will enable shadows. Parallel light is giving the shadows. In material options change the color of the cylinder. Repeat the process. 